Okay, we're going to look at a Lenovo N22 Chromebook that when you plug it in with the charger, you do not get a charge light and it does not turn on. So it's getting no power. Well, usually one of two things is going to be involved when that happens. Either one, down here on the left side of the board, There's these two capacitors near the bottom left hand side of the board right above where the keyboard plugs into. Either one of these two capacitors will blow on it, that one or that one, and will short across it and will cause it not to turn on as well as the, either the main fuse. Here's the battery connector right below it, the fuse, and we're going to check the fuse and just make sure if it's getting any power across that fuse. I'm going to put my meter on volts and we're going to check ground with the black probe and red probe on the right side of that fuse and I'm getting 22.2 volts so we know that we've got power coming in and check the left side of that fuse and nothing getting nothing on the left side of that fuse so that means our fuse is blown so we'll go ahead and pull that fuse off of there unplug the Chromebook first and then pull this fuse off Heat it up for a moment here. Give it just a second to get heated up all the way. Fuse removed, and so I have a daughter board, another uh, motherboard sitting here for parts that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and put some fresh flux out after I tin that real quick. There's some new solder. Right. Put some flux on that. And then I'm going to pull a fuse off of another board here real quick. And it is off. We'll see if we put that down into place. should be able to heat that up and it should automatically walk itself into place. And good. It's done there. Alright, give it a moment to cool off. I'm going to go up to the charge light so you can see the charge light on here. Yep, there's the charge light. We'll plug it back in and see if we get anything on that. And we still do not. Let's see. Ah. 
now that we've replaced that fuse, we have no voltage coming in on either side of that fuse. Now, normally when that happens, that means most definitely one of those two capacitors right there is shorted. So, that's what blew the original fuse being left in so long with one of those blown. Let's find out if one of those are blown. We'll put it on resistance check. It will check across it. Oh, yep. We definitely have one of those two shorted. So, let's go ahead and take care of those. Take care of those guys so we can turn this back on. Alright, so unplug it there. No need to blow the other fuse that we just put in. And we'll rem just remove one of them and check again. So set, just set there, that one off to the side just real quick so I can check the other one that's still there and see. Okay, so that one's the one that's not shorted. The top one is the good one. The bottom one is the one that is shorted. As you can see. So, let's go back. And we're going to end up putting the top one back on, and we'll take the bottom one off and replace the bottom one. Alright, so we've got the bad one off. So we'll take and put our good one back down. And then I'll grab one other one off of another board. So I have one that I've pulled off of another board to set that down. And I just before I go and put it on there, I'm just going to check it real quick and make sure that that one is a good one as well that I pulled off that other board. And it does appear to be good. All right, so let's see. You're going to retin these two these little joints right here. To ready, put down just a little bit of flux here for it, and we're going to take those two and put them back onto these pads. It does not matter which direction they go in. And let's see if we can. these up enough here all right we have those, those back into place yeah, okay while that cools off I'm just going to get a little bit of this thing's got solder balls all over these ones. I don't know what kind of quality they go through. Assurance. You find solder balls all over this, these things. Alright, so we've got both of those back in. We'll check to make sure our fuse is still good. And it is. 